Next, we got the, the user lookup. And this is just a way to find specific users and look at their timeline, right? So we're here in the user lookup uh, page. And we here, we see some of the real-time activity. Uh, usually, actually quite helpful if you're debugging things or if you're trying to debug new events. Uh, this can be a way to do that. Let's open any user. All right, so we have the ID of this user here. And then we have a few, a few of the user properties which we may have seen in, in some other reports. Right? We have the user ID, their amplitude ID, first and last seen, uh, how many events this user has fired since we first saw them, sessions, usage time, some of the language, demographic data, uh, some revenue data that I guess gets calculated when we fire those revenue events in the, in the right way, and then some custom user properties that we're tracking for this specific user. Right? Then that here we get the, the event stream, so we can see all the events this user has fired over time. Right, we can select an event, and then we can see some of the specific event properties here, uh, but some of the user properties that were uh, available there at the time. Uh, our event properties are down here, actually. Right, maybe some other specific data around it. Uh, one handy thing about this timeline actually is that it tends to uh, it will actually color things in different co uh, different colors for different uh, platforms. So you tend to see things in a, a specific color for iOS versus Android versus web. So it's, it can be a handy way to look at cross-platform usage uh, over time quite quite easily. Right. We have a few options here. We can actually jump to a specific day, all this event, first event, and so on. Um, we can also filter by just go find a specific event. If we want to look at only the uh, our, our view ad event, which we've been using quite a bit. All right, and then you know this will highlight the event for us. Uh, let's see. Instead, let's actually let's do share song here since it's available right there. So you can see it gets highlighted with with a special A, so we can go find that specific event, right? In this case, this user only has one device, but you can also maybe filter down to only uh, iOS devices or Android devices or whatever it may be, and we can highlight or only show. So. So it's quite a quite a, uh, a flexible way to to look at a specific user and what the user is doing uh, and some of their properties and events.